Jack's jealous. I ate this up. She was in a deep sleep and then she realized she was like, my aunt's dead. Who are you? A masterpiece. They made it. They're like, very rough. At the 30 minute mark, I was like, I can't read anymore. I think this is one of the most beautiful books I've ever read. My heart. Ugh. I love everyone so much. I feel like this is going to be spoiler free. I think I already said that in the intro, which I haven't filmed yet. I feel like what would make it really interesting, I barely remember the summary, but I think she's gonna go take the job writing about the war in the front lines. I'm curious to know if she does. I feel like her and Roman are gonna do it. it. Seems like it'd be very interesting. It's so good. If you haven't tried reading Divine Rivals, you really should. This is really, really good. Like the writing is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. It's so poetic. It's genius. I'll probably check back in. Please do not comment on my appearance. I'm having a bad hair day. You're a little crooked. I think that's just the vibe now. The vibe. I finished it at six hours. I don't even know if you can see that. Please. Oh, yo, if you haven't read Divine Rivals. Forget about fourth wave. Read Divine Rivals. What are you doing? Oh my God. A masterpiece. You probably will have no idea if you've never read the book, but if you've read the book and if you know the ending, it so irritates me, so irritates me. And this is who I picture for Dakre, this god, almighty dude. And then, Kit. <laughs> the man has the purest soul. Please, no one harm him. No one touch that man. He just wanted one thing. Ah, uh, Divine Rivals. If you don't care about my opinion about this book, Please, feel free, fast forward. But if you do, I wrote it down because I trust my writing way more than my words. Okay, I literally was like divine rivals. It's full of passion and warmth, it's sacrifice. It feels as though you're reading a story when that starts with like long ago. It would like go black and fade off into like this fantasy world. And like the narrator would be in the background. Oh. God, that's the vibe it gave me, and it was so nostalgic. It was everything to me. I found a lot of comfort. Please, don't mind my hair. I don't have a hat. I was saying, like, you root for these characters. Like, you are, like, right next to them on the battlefield. Like, you are just with them the whole way. It's amazing. Bond that these characters have with each other. It's... Ugh. Ugh. My heart. It aches. I love it so much, and I cannot wait. I think the next book comes out... Oh Jesus, I need to put new stickers on this because all my stickers kept coming off. And it's called Ruthless Bows. No! It comes out December 26th. Okay, on to the next book. Oh, also if there's, if you hear anything in the background, it's, it's a fan. I got one of those cute little, I'll show you. Don't mind the dog, but the little honey dwell fans. Because way too high, I live on the side of the house where the house is very hot. And I watched another episode of Home Tell Cha Cha Cha. I was on episode 10. I've seen it so many times. I screamed my little heart out because romance. I'm a sucker for romance, which is why it leads us to our next book. Do, 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 do. The Seven Years Love. I love Dead Romantics. It was. Beautiful. Another amazing romantic comedy, but it's. Ugh. I want to be dramatic and say it's so much more than a romantic comedy. Okay, so this one. Are you breaking your neck? What? Same place, different time. Sometimes the worst day of your life happens, and you have to figure out how to live after. Clementine West. That means burying her heels. Oh, <laughs> burying her head <laughs> in her work as a book publicist, being practical, and forgetting the silly things to beloved aunt taught her. Like living, why? He's just propped up. 
taught her like living wide, wide, living wide and chasing the moon. Clementine would rather stay grounded and keep her heart safe. But when she moves into her late aunt's apartment and finds a strange man standing in the kitchen, a man with kind eyes, <laughs> a southern draw, and a taste for lemon pies, her well-laid plans begin to fall apart because he's the type of man who, before it all, she would have fallen head over heels for, and she still might, except he exists in the past, seven years in the past to be exact, and she quite literally, literally, lives seven years in the future. Her aunt always said the apartment was a pinch in time, a place where moments blended like watercolors. She also said that love is never a matter of time, but a matter of time main. And Clementine fears she may be seven years too late. Hopefully I get this done with six hours, within six hours. Oh, here's some problems. Ah, check it. Be back soon. Maybe I'll update you on this. Maybe I won't. Peace out. When she first realizes that someone else is living there, she's passed out. This guy is waking her like, Wake up, friend. Hey. She was in a deep sleep and then she realized, she was like, My aunt's dead. Who are you? Who are you? I'm on hour nine and I think now I'm gonna start flying through this book. At first it was a little slow. It was a little slow so it took me a very long time to get to where I was. I was like reading, I was reading, rereading. I kept getting lost in my thoughts. But now, after our two characters have met in the past and in the future, the energy is different. The energy in the room. Ooh. Tension! That's all, I just wanted to come in and say something because my heart, body, and soul just taken back. The last line in this chapter where they finally met and they had a meeting and it was jaw dropping literally i'm on page 155 yeah i'll probably check in at the very end little oh, benny he's a model this ashley girl you outdid yourself okay wow i finished that in five hours like realistically i ate this up I did not put this down. If you haven't read The Dead Romantics, if you haven't read this book, what are you doing? Don't mind the hair again. I'm literally about to go shower before I start the next book because I'm, my hair is just, it's a mess. This romance? I think is actually the best romance I've ever read. The way that these characters and this story and the messages behind this book reach inside and grab your heart and it's not even like a, it like tugs at your heartstrings, not like it's like, oh my god. It's like, it gives it a hug. Does that make sense? It was really good. Dang, everything has been a hit so far. I have my next two books. I have a really good feeling about these. I have a really good feeling. Let me get a crown. And so that's not here to be liked. I feel like it's gonna hit the spot dead on and it's gonna be great. The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy. I've been wanting to read this for so long and I have the audiobook for it, so I think we can just get it rolling. Right? I'm not even holding the right book. This book? There's somebody lying to me. I was expecting something else and then like a bird was tapping on the window she went to go open it and then she started talking to the bird and the bird was talking back and delivered a message i was like huh what and then i was like i'm just gonna let it go i'm just gonna let it go and then marshall is a demigod there are gods and there are old gods new gods a thousand years ago there were old gods or they, the new gods took over maybe like 200 years ago. People are finally able to come into Tanria, but Marshall, he, okay, there are grudges, grudges, drudges, drudges. I think that's how you say it. If you die on Tanria's turf, 
like any of the land, a drudge will come and take over your body and like reanimate it, but only if you have an appendix, which I thought was so weird. I was like, what does that have to do? So it can go inside anything that has an appendix, a rabbit, a possum, and I don't even know how, what it's called, I think it's called like a grate, and it's a furry frog that has been created by the new gods. It was like, it's not an animal, it just kind of, they made it. And they're like, furry frog. Uh, and I was like, <gasps> you had me at furry frog. <laughs> but he has delivered the letter. She, he just signs it a friend. She's confused and I don't know, the bird was the one that delivered this letter and was like, it's for you. She's like, but there's no name on it. He's like, just trust me, it's for you. And then so she was like, okay, that's where I'm at right now. Um, this is still gonna be spoiler free. I just thought I had to say that because, what? <laughs> I had no idea. I thought they were joking. I know they were making a joke. Okay. really boring. I wouldn't recommend anyone read this. It's more romanticy. It's focused on a romance that they have no chemistry. They genuinely seem like they don't like each other. And then he makes sexist comments. I'm not into it. I'm gonna finish it. One eternity later. Why would I continue? That's just gonna put me in a slump. I think we're gonna go with this one. This is in my pile next and I think I could get through it fast. The cover is absolutely beautiful and if you love this book that's great. I'm glad that it worked out for you. Me personally, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the back of this is too funny. Two best friends, lovers, oh, liars, lovers, addicts, one epic love story. Listen, boy, my first love story. I hear this is the worst one, and it just gets better from here, but I gotta read the first one. <laughs> so I just give it a shot. Shouldn't just give it a shot. I'll just give it a shot. Let me just see. Let me see. Yeah, I got that far. At the 30 minute mark, I was like, I can't read anymore. So I'm gonna move on to this one. I gave the first few pages a test drive just to make sure because I refuse to be in a slump. This just made me sad. Same with Magnolia Parks. I try to read Magnolia Parks. It just makes me sad. So not here to be liked. It says warning this book contains an unlikable female character. I can't tell if that's like a joke. She's running for editor-in-chief of the school's newspaper, and she's running on a post. She's like the most qualified person for this job, but then this guy. Len. So Len here, he is an ex-jock, and now he's like, uh, I wanna run for this position. And so now suddenly her qualifications don't mean anything, and they're trying to vote this guy because he's popular and he's a man. That's what the back of this says. Len, who is tall, handsome, and male, just seems, just seems more like a leader. And so she, Eliza, gets extremely frustrated. She spills all of her feelings out into an essay. It starts this feminist debate with women saying like, either she's crying misogyny, and there's the other side who is saying like, yes girl, like finally someone is saying something. After this heated debate, school is asking for them to work side by side and to show teamwork. You know, as they start working together, she starts to fall for him. It says she's like falling for like the patriarchy. I will see you probably tomorrow because I could possibly fall asleep with this in my hands. Okay, I've tried to film this too many times. Too many times. The books that I've gone through. Oh my God. This book, I finished it this morning this morning i ate this up i wish i had something like this when i was younger the vibes were there and it was so inspiring i learned a lot about feminism about just people's ideas and views of it and how it can get kind of twisted around and i think it's so beautifully written i love the writing in this book it's so good but she's not unlikable she's actually a very likable character if you agree with her and if you don't, I mean, don't read this book. But because I'm sort of trying not to get into a slump, we got like 
five hours basically left. Five hours and seven minutes. Potato, potato. I was struggling. We're just gonna listen to The Ballad of Never After again. I've read it before, I love this book, but also the new book, The Curse for True Love is coming out like September 28th, I believe. And so that's very soon. I need to read, go over it anyways. And also at the same time, I did at the very beginning when I was like testing the waters with vlogging and stuff like that. I did read it, I tried to film for it. Um, it was a mess. So now you're going to get a spoiler free vlog now from me because it's been a while. It's been a while since I've read this. Actually, it's been almost a year since I've read this. Oh, this book was so good. I remember I loved it, this book. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi. I'll be back in a little bit with, I guess, an update. I'm really excited. <laughs> Normally, I don't re-listen to books because I feel like that's, like I just gotta keep reading new things, but I'm very excited about this one. Listen, jealousy, a very ugly trait. Ugly, terrible, awful. Now, Jax? Jax jealous? It's different. It's different. It's different. You cannot tell me otherwise. It's different. It's different. Um, is it toxic behavior? Yes. Absolutely. Do I ship them? Yes. Is he bad for her? Yes. Is he sending mixed signals? Yes. But when he is into her, <laughs> deceased. <laughs> I'm a simp. I'm a simp all the way. You hate him, you love him, you hate him, you love him, you hate him, you love him. He's so wishy washy. For a god of fate? Get your shit together, man. This girl, though, she's so naive. Oh my god. Girl, she's so into him. It's, it's bad. You don't trust anybody. I want him so bad to be good, but that's, that's a problem. <laughs> okay, I have about an hour left. I'm not gonna be able to finish it by the time that this challenge is done, but I am gonna finish it. I forgot how this ends. I'll be back at the end to wrap it up. Okay, um, peace. Okay, I finished. Well, I mean, I'm done. I'm not finished with this book, but listen, I couldn't stop it in time. So 24, 24, 24, 42. It's funny because I literally just was about to be on a cliffhanger. I tried. I was on 1.8 speed. I was like, maybe if I just crank up the speed a bit more. <laughs> no. So yeah, that is all for today's video. I read for 24 hours. I definitely could have finished four books. But I had like five misses. I tried to read one book and it just wasn't working. And then I tried to read a thriller and it just didn't work. It was a mess. I almost got in a slump, but I was like, absolutely not. Thankfully, I picked up a great book, which was the I'm Not Here to Be Liked. Fantastic. Lovely. The books that I did read, fantastic. I love them. Two five stars. I don't have the original because it was on Kindle Unlimited, but The Divine Rivals and then this book gave it five stars. Great. And then Not Here to Be Liked, 4.5. I mean, it's just a solid read. Great. And um, we had, we had a miss. Okay, and I will see you in my next reading vlog, which will be coming very soon. And just a heads up, in case, in case you're curious, it will be crossed. I will be starting this as soon as I finish editing tomorrow. If you are interested in seeing a reading vlog on this, then stay tuned. And yeah, I will see you, see you next time. Have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are. Peace, love, happiness. Bye, 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 bye.